Hey, Journey family and friends and biblical patriots, reformers, and anybody else I forgot to mention that loves Jesus, filled with the Holy Spirit, and trust God for great things. Ready for a prayer talk? Um, not going to be walking today. It's bitter outside. And so if you don't mind, I'm just going to hang out here and enjoy some time with you as we pray through some really important things today. Um, praying that your new year has just kicked into action and that you're just taking it in a different way, um, perhaps a much more spiritual, in-depth way. Uh, Pastor Bill, as you know, decreed, declared over the year 2022, the year of the supernatural. And that has many of us here a journey by grace excited um, and then he also had a message a couple weeks ago about being the carriers of his presence wow i pray that that sinks down into your spirit and soul in a literal way because if you're truly born again you are the carrier of his presence that has so much power if you only knew what's under your hood, so to say, um, that would get you off in a, a speed, a destiny that would uh, just give you such a, a great deal of pleasure and miraculous power. want to remind you that our prayers are not in vain. They may go unanswered for a while, but they're not in vain. I have a saying that goes like this, pray until something changes. We can't necessarily determine what the change is going to be, but we can pray asking for God's will to be done and change to occur as we believe it should be. Somewhere it connects to God's better way and ultimately things do work out not always the way we want them to, but ultimately they do work out. And for that, we can give God thanks. Uh, definitely, we can give God many thanks for. One of the uh, areas that we want to spend our prayer focus on this morning is praying for those that you know, I know, we know, that are dealing with uh, the uh, after effects of COVID, um, particularly uh, some folks here at within the Journey by Grace family, but those of you that aren't part of the family, um, you have people that you're praying for as well. We want to come into agreement with you and pray <clears throat> for you. So let's go ahead and do that. Heavenly Father, we thank you this wonderful day. We give you thanks and praise for it. For Lord, you truly are the way maker, the miracle worker, the promise keeper. That is who you are. Father, we pray for those that have been in the after effect and are currently being uh, affected by COVID and all the variants. Father, we pray for healing grace to rush into their body. Father, we know that this COVID uh, virus was crafted in the caves of hell. We know it is demonically sent and was meant to bring great harm and punishment upon the people it contacted. Therefore, Father, if it is crafted by the demonic enemies of you and us, we who are the carriers of your power, your presence and light can counteract it by praying for an infusion of holy, pure light, heavenly light. The Bible says, Father, you are light and we are children of the light. Therefore, we pray, Father, an infusion of light, heaven's light, into the bodies of those that we love and care about, into the bloodstreams, into their DNA, into their muscle and tissue. We think of J.C. Munzer. We pray in the name of Jesus for his healing and infusion of light and God's grace and power upon him. For Denise Patton, we pray in the name of Jesus 
that her body be restored fully and completely and made well, an infusion of light. We pray for the continuing healing of Chad's body. We thank you that he's home and enjoying the comforts of being home and resting um, with his wife and the family who love him. Father, he, his body, his physical body continues to need healing. So we pray in Jesus' name for the restoration of his body. Father, um, being this year the year of the supernatural, as not only Pastor Bill, but so many godly men and women have decreed it so in their churches, their ministries, their their organizations. Father, we pray, pour out your spirit, we ask. Father, we ask you, please, upon your sons and your daughters, give the spiritual gift of healing. Father, we cry out for it. We petition you for it. We ask for it. Father, not for our glory, but for yours. We do want to lay hands on the sick and watch them recover. Father, we ask because we care. We care because you care more than us. And because you care more than us, that means there are plenty of people that you desire to walk in health and wholeness and wellness that are not. And we want to be involved in helping them get to a place where they can. So, Father, we ask for the supernatural gift of healing. Father, we ask you, please, to draw those out of harm's way, to call those out of the kingdom of darkness and call them into the kingdom of your son, the kingdom of light, the kingdom of truth. We pray, God, for our unsaved loved ones. We ask that you soften their hardened hearts. We ask that you remove the scales from their eyes to behold and see you as King of kings and Lord of lords. We pray that you'll prohibit the continuation of Satan's work with them and his alliance with them. We pray, Father, because we care about them and you care about them more than us. Father, we pray that you will bless the true churches on earth, that they will prosper under your Spirit's guidance, and that they will be active and activated with supernatural giftings and the stirrings and promptings of Holy Spirit. Father, we pray for pastors who are questioning their place and their calling today. We pray, God, that you'll do all the sorting out for them and affirm them where they're meant to be and who they're meant to be with. Father, we pray for churches not part of us in the United States. The internationally, we ask God, protect them. God, watch over them. And Father, finally, we pray this being the year of the supernatural, we pray that this co it coincide with raising up reformers for the next great reformation. Father, we ask because we know that reformers and reformation turns into revival. We pray it so, Father. God, there are people within and on this prayer call that you have been touching and prompting and nudging to stand up and say no to something they have been pressured into saying yes to. Father, we pray that you will give them, with the Holy Spirit's help, the power of no, and that they will take their reformer stand and start their own personal reformation of change. And we know, Father, that you will bless what is right and pleasing to you. We love you, we commit this time to you, and we praise you for who you are. You are our way maker, promise keeper. Yes, that is who you are. Blessed be the name of the Lord most high. All right, prayer warriors, the Lord bless and keep you. And until we pray again, continue to shine for him. Remember, you are a child of the light. You carry his light. And it does overwhelm and overcome the darkness. Blessings to you. Bye for now. Till we pray again.